Hey there, this is Lucius LaFromboise from ENG Suite. I am on the software sales and development team here. And today I'm going to teach you how to use the G1 function in QE Suite. This one's pretty simple. Um, it performs a type 1 gauge study. And if you can take an average, you can do a gauge 1 study. It's awesome. All right, just like always, we're going to start in the cell that we want to do the formula. Equals QE dot, this one's going to be G1 tab. Then we're going to go over to our data where we've got it stored, and we're just storing it right here in G2 through 16. Then our tolerance. For this one, we're going to do 0.1, so this would be your upper spec minus your lower spec. And um, then we're going to do a reference value. Okay, This is an optional parameter. If you want some more information on it, go ahead and click that link there. That'll take you to it. Um, otherwise, we have this description here, which is the value used to evaluate bias. So this is usually a historical mean or the mean from another measurement equipment. Um, if you don't include it, it won't calculate bias. But for now, we'll do this. We will say that our mean is going to be, we'll go with 4.9... Yeah, 4.9. That looks like a good one. And enter. And wow, look at that. What do you know? I'm going to scoot this over. We've got a CG, CGK, bias, P, and a T value, as well as our run chart here. So how this run chart works is you're going to have, this is your reference value, that green line, and then you're going to have two control limits, reference plus 0 0.10 times the tolerance and minus. Okay, this is random data that I generated, so it absolutely failed. As you can see, I typed in these couple, and then I just drug down. <laughs> and Excel saw this pattern and said, yep, that's it. Okay, so we've got that, right? What happens if we don't have a reference value? We're just, we just have our tolerance and our data, the two mandatory ones. Well, we're going to hit enter. And look at that, CG. It just gives us our CG, and this time, our reference value is actually the mean of this data, and that's how it calculates it, and then plus or minus there. All right, super cool. Like always, you've got the cool ones like return. Um, this is your dimension name, sorry. You've got, we'll call it test, and then you've got return as object. We all love that one, and then hide graph. So just a couple of your, your general ones and not too much going on here. So thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great day, and please do something awesome.